Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm just putting together my um, new set of wheels and tyres for me TRX4 Sport. Um, I've had the tyres and the forms for a while, um, the wheels just turned up as I'm filming this today. Um, I've been waiting quite a while for those but I suppose that's what happens when you order from overseas and you know there is a delay on shipping etc. Yeah. So I just thought I'd do a little a little video, I wasn't going to, but it's a rainy day, I'm sitting, got one more to put together, so I thought why not, I'll just film a little bit of it. So I'll film a little bit of just putting it together, um, and then I'll probably do a bit of testing on the truck, uh, maybe when the weather's better or something, comparisons with the old wheels and tyres versus the new ones, um, I'll put that all together. But yeah, anyway, it's part of like me, me budget build of this truck, um, everything I'm doing is cheapish um trying to source bits cheap i'm not buying branded makes hence like the tires of these injura super swamper um rock rocks tires as you can see they're just sorry for the poor light it's a dull day um they're just a copy of the proline hyrax um very soft previous tests i've seen that they don't last quite long i'm sure i'll find out um again some cheap three stage forms um, they feel all right. I don't know. Again, until you try them, you don't know, do you? Again, I think they cost me eighteen pound delivered. Those were a tenner for four delivered, and me wheels, three piece speed locks, um, twenty two, twenty two pounds at the time, I think, delivered. And these are actually really good quality. I'm really surprised. I've had to put all these screws in. I've done that off camera. Um, and they're quite tight going in, which is whether it's to do with like the paint, the powder coat. But that's a good thing because they won't come out because I was debating putting uh, some Loctite on. Uh, you put the middle ones in for the hex on the back. And then you've got six to go in. In here, there is a couple of spares uh, when you've got the wheel together. Um, so all I have been doing with the screws for the back of there is I've just been putting a little dab of super glue on. Um, I didn't want to use Threadlock really in case I want to take the wheels apart again. Um, and I can't get them apart. You know, if I need to dry the forms out or whatever, or they are, um, they are sealed. There's no, there's no vent holes or anything. So I don't know whether I'm gonna have to put a couple in the tire again until I try it. I don't know. So yeah, obviously these come with a, a single form. So I'm just trying to video, trying to video this on my phone on a little mount. It's quite difficult. Um, so I'll pull that out of there. These have got a single stage form. I'll hang on to, I may need them in future, but yeah, just a little foam donut. But I want to try these ones. So fitting these into the tyre, all I do is just squash them up like that. Get the tyre. Just sort of try and put them in. So Place like that, and then tip that in, and then all I do is just sort of put my fingers inside and just walk them round, just centralising the form, just to get it sitting, sitting where it needs to be. It's not hard. Just, yeah, I've just got my thumbs pressed against the form, and I'm just turning the tail on my fingers. There we go. You want the middle part of the bead lock in. Got a little bit of weight in these, they are alloy. Um, I'm not going to add any extra weight. I know you can stick um, like stick on weights around here. Five gram ones all the way around. But I don't want rotating weight. And I've got plenty of brass on mine. I think, if anything, I'm starting to think I've maybe got a little bit too much on the truck. I don't know. Um, I don't know. To help. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's... I need to use it more. Um, I have used it quite a bit, but um, there's a couple of times I've thought the brass has maybe hindered it um, because of the weight it's trying to drag up steep hills and stuff. But on the other hand, these tyres are probably going to give it an advantage. So uh, until I've done that, anyway, that goes in there like that. Just make sure you get that in like that. Make sure you don't nip the foam. Make sure the tyres sitting outside of the ring like that. Get that one. Obviously line it up with the holes inside. Um if you can see that, if you can get them to line up in there. Somewhere near you can turn it when it's in and then just gently just sort of 
manipulated in. There we are. So that's gone in like that. It's not quite lined up. But I'll just take a little. Obviously, when you're doing these, you need a one and a half mil driver. I'll just give it a little turn. That's it. Um, yeah, one and a half mil driver for the small screws and a two and a half for the bigger ones. So that's that. So then again, take your screws. What you want to do is what I've been doing anyway, is I've just, like I say, I've put a little dab of super glue on. You don't have to, but I'd rather that didn't come undone when I'm using it. A tiny bit, you don't need a lot. Drop it like that. And then what you do is you get super glue on your fingers and glue your fingers together. Um, and then all I've been doing is just getting hold of the wheel, squashing the two things together, put that in. That's in there. Couple of turns and then get another one. Same again, a bit of glue. Um, I'm not going to film all this because you don't need to see it. A little bit of glue, opposite corner, or complete opposite, sorry. There you go. And there we are, it's starting to feel it's starting to tighten down, right? So you want to do that with all six, the six in there, whatever wheels you've got six, eight, four, ten. Put them in, like you say, don't have to use the glue, but I do. And then you want to just tighten in like opposites, just slowly wind it down. And then just when it's done, just go around it, each one up. Um, it was the same with these. These were all just tightened up like a star pattern. Same with these. I wound these in with an electric driver and a one and a half mil bit uh, on the lowest setting. Um, and then it stopped and then I finished it by hand, just like that. Um, and yeah. Well, good. So I'll be back in a minute once I've put this back together. So that is all four done. Um, slightly time consuming, but when you've got a bit of time, it doesn't matter. Um, obviously, I, I've took my time a little bit, just I want them right. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to have to take them apart again um, for whatever reason, unless I want to, you know, unless I think they've took a bit of water in if I do go in some water. But working it out for, for £46 for. Three stage forms, tyres and three piece beadlock alloy wheels. I think that's, you can't complain for the money when you think a set of Proline Hyrax are about, I think they're about 30, 30 pounds a pair. So if you said 60 quid and then you've got your forms which are a bit more and then if you've got, bought some, you know, different, like, you know, more branded make wheels, you'd be looking 150 quid I would have thought. Um, again, Time will tell as to how these tyres wear and last, how the wheels hold, how the forms do. Maybe that the forms might be no good, I might need something stiffer. I might decide to go back to a single one or maybe look at some jail stage ones, but I'm willing to try them. But if you compare these, I'll just move them three, these to the standard Traxxas TRX4 wheels and tyres. So that is obviously your, your Canyon Trail 1.9 on the plastic rim. Um, I mean, I cannot fault these. Obviously, I did cut the extra um like the triangle out the tread and i think that did help um these have had quite a bit of stick um so that the, the nice and supple and soft um you know rough them up on the concrete a bit when you look at the two together um oh, let me get that in that is a lot that's quite a bit taller than that although not as wide um definitely 100% a softer compound than that. Not a lot, but I think it'll make a difference. But yeah, you can see it, it just, it's it's a taller tyre. Um, but not as wide. You put the two together. Let's see that or not. It's very difficult to do this. You can see the, the Traxxas Canyon tyre is slightly wider. This has got a more, this has got more of an offset than that wheel. Um, See in there anyway i've tried I like i tried one just i haven't fastened it up but i put it on the truck and it sticks out a lot further so it's gonna have a wider track which might be good but yeah i'll get a bit of running footage